A question I've heard a lot let last about two, three years is who are you when nobody's watching? It's a good question and I've thought about it a lot of times. But um, I have another question for you. Who are you when everybody watching? Yeah, it's the same question but the opposite and turn it around. And that's what I think life is. Turn it around and turn it around and around and around and again. Around. Because you see, I think that everybody of us need to stop and think and believe and see and open our eyes but I don't think we need to do that to the world I need I think we need to do that to ourselves to start look inside ourselves what's the difference between our heart and our mind what's the difference between our heart and our head is it any different and what is it so both of those questions I think is very very important for a long long time I've been living a life like a people pleaser and I think that the experience and the lesson learned from all of that is that I didn't allow me to be me I didn't allow me to see me to hear me to understand me I just allow me to go after everybody to please them so much because I wanted them to love me, to like me. And I couldn't see why they didn't. I couldn't see at all. I was like inside of a cloud of fog. And as more as I tried, as more the fog grew, and I couldn't get out. It was like that fog was following me around and I couldn't sleep, I couldn't be awake because I was so in pain. My soul did hurt so much, my mind did hurt and my heart did hurt and my heart started to broke. Piece by piece I left in places that I never can find it again. And it went so broken. So one day I had no heart left. And wherever I looked, I couldn't find the pieces. It was gone. It was so gone. And I started to think and I started to try to heal myself. But how could I heal myself when the pieces were gone and I couldn't find them. So there and then I started to realize that the only thing I could do was give myself a new heart. And the only way I could do that was to realize what was my limiting beliefs, what was my fears, and what was the foundation of those fears. And when I started to work with that, it got so deep, so I started to understand that the person I've been looking for myself wasn't at all the person that I ever thought I, would, I was. I was somebody completely different and uh, probably I don't think nobody knows me today. I've barely started to know myself and I'm finding out things every day that I never realized before, that I never seen before. And I have grown so much that I can't understand it myself. But also I started to listen to what people really said, what they saying. And I found out that it's a whole world outside who really are speaking. And that 
silent treatment I was so used to, it was none of it longer. Because I took everything out of it away. And I believe so, so strongly that if we give ourselves the benefit of doubt, we're gonna, we're gonna end up being the best. And uh, how much that heart of mine is rebuilding and growing up to be a new heart. It still hurts a lot of the old pieces when I find them. Because once in a while I do find them. They do remind me of things. They do remind me of how it been. And the sadness need to have room. And the loyalty to myself have to be bigger and greater and... I think that every one of us, you listen, everybody outside, I think we need to see ourselves. I think we need to hear ourselves. And I think that if we do that, we can grow as humans. And when we do that, we can also start to be open of the world outside. I said for a very long, long time that I think that the respect in the world is going to an end. And all those people outside who really serves, who really believes that they're going to be there for another human, they're not heard any longer. They They are not seen because the respectlessness of the world is much huger than ever before. And I heard so good comment yesterday. It was a man who said, a truth, a truth is always a truth, but it's really never heard. A lie is always a lie, and it's making so much noise that nobody else can shut it down and in my world that is the biggest truth I've ever heard because you see my story behind me is that all the lies that was built upon me all the lies that people gave me and they built it up to be a skyline with 43 floors and more and the day I realized that that skyline had been built so high I was lying in the basement so far down under that skyline so I didn't know how to get up any longer and how could I get my truth out if I couldn't get the noise to shut up, to be quiet. And then I realized that it's only one way, and it's to cut all the band, all the cords from that before, and start all over again. And with that said, I did that. I started all over, and I took away a lot of things that I didn't want to take away, but it was necessary, and I needed to take it away. So I did. I took it away and it hurt and my tears was dropping and my tears were like a flood and the water was swimming over, swelling over and it was so hard. But one morning I woke up and it was the first morning that I woke up with a smile on my lips for a very, very long time. And for the first time in a very long time, I could see a future. I could see my dream. I could see the light in the sky again. And then I realized it was hope. I realized that I need to stop 
go down the stairs. I need to start to go up the stairs. I need to go up the stairs so far up I can. So I can see the sun. And I can feel the hope again. Because the hope is the last thing that ever leaves us. And if I can bring that hope to be so huge. No, nothing, nothing can take me downstairs again. So I started to build that. I started to to take myself up the stairs. And you can see how that going to look for a woman in wheelchair who can't go with a wheelchair up the stairs. So I had to jump over to the steps. And I had to, to jump up the steps with, with the back end. And it was hard to climb that way. It was hard. But I did it. One step at a time. And yeah, sometimes I was jumping up the steps and I was sitting on things that did hurt. But every time I was reminded of something that I have loved once, something that I have believed once, something that I have trusted once. And I did know that I didn't do that any longer and it didn't serve me. So I had to have jump up one step more and one more and one more and the day I reached so far up that I could see the sun and the hope was almost falling over that day I laughed that day I was smiling and that day I could start to be creative again in podcast video and I started to think it was fun again so I realized that the time was here to, for me to step outside my door to start to show myself for the world again. And I realized that the only one who can do this trip, the only one who can come to be the one I want to be, it's myself. So for the question, who am I when nobody's watching? That's easy. I am me. I am me the same way when I am home with the closed doors, as I am me, with the same beliefs, with the same faith, with the same hope, as when I go out and see people and humans outside. And who am I? Who are, am I wanna, who, who do I want to be? Who, how do I like to be? And I want to be the woman who goes the simple way of love, simple way of doing things, simple way of seeing things. Because you see, I believe that if I do that, if I see everything in the simple way, it's not have to be so hard. It's not have to be so fightful to do things and I know I have done doesn't have to be that warrior woman every day I can still be that strong woman that strong woman that I was built in childhood to be and that strength strength that need to have to be it need to be and it have to be in line with my love with my heart it have to be in line with my intuition and it have to be in line with that I'm feeling good. So the hope, the love and everything around it, it has to be the foundation of what I am. So when I go out, I am me. When I am indoors with myself, I am me. And the foundation is what I build to. So climb up the stairs and see the light up there and give yourself the best hope you can and start to feel the love inside you. And you just have to look around because you see, you are not alone. No matter how much alone you feel, you are not alone. It's always going to be a person out in the street when you are out walking or like me driving a wheelchair and if you smile to that person I can guarantee you that 
at least 90% of the persons, people, human you meet are going to smile back. And you are not alone. No matter what, you are not alone. So go out there and start to feel the safeness in your heart. Start to give yourself permission to be you, to feel you, to love you. Because when you do that, you're going to feel so much better. And you're going to be able to be honest, be loveful. And you're going to be making that for yourself. And when you are so strong in it, then you can go out and give it to other people, to your surrounding, who needs probably a lot of love too. So go out there and be you. And show people that you love you. Show yourself that you love you. It's so important. It's so important for your future. And with that said, if somebody haven't told you today, I gonna tell you. You know, I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Because you see, you are a part of the world. And I do love the world. Therefore, I do love you. And... I wishes, my wishes and my hope is for you to do the same to you back. Love yourself. So, until next time, I hope I see you again. Bye for now.